Hello friends, today we are going to see about fiber optic nasotracheal intubation. In this video, you'll see the actual nasotracheal intubation procedure via fiber optic scope. Let's get on to the video. Fiber optic nasotracheal intubation is performed if it is difficult to open the mouth or if intubation using laryngoscope is expected to be difficult. Fiber optic intubation is a very useful technique for patients with an anticipated difficult airway, such as those with reduced mouth opening due to infection, temporomandibular joint problems, or jaw fracture. A 40-year-old patient who underwent oral maxillofacial surgery under general anesthesia is described. Because of physical findings of increased risk for airway compromise. The anesthetic strategy included fiber optic nasotracheal intubation under sedation and topical anesthesia of the airway. No pre-medication was administered to the patients on the day of surgery. Non-invasive monitoring, including blood pressure and bispectral index BIS, measurement, electrocardiography, and pulse oximetry, were initiated. After peripheral venous access was obtained, the patients received intravenous fentanyl and midazolam. A wooden applicator stick with a cotton swab was inserted through the nasal meatus to verify the nasal passage to the pharyngeal space. A nasopharyngeal airway of either 8.0 mm or 9.5 mm was inserted to confirm the patency of the nasal passage. After removal of the nasal airway, a nasotracheal tube was then advanced into the pharynx. A fiber optic scope was advanced through the nasotracheal tube and 2 ml of 1% lidocaine, 20 mg, with 3 ml of vera and a 5 ml syringe was first sprayed onto the epiglottis via the working channel of the fiber scope. The fiber scope was then advanced toward the glottis. The fiber scope was then passed behind the epiglottis to visualize the vocal cords. A second dose of 2 ml of 1% lidocaine, 20 mg, was sprayed toward the vocal cords. And the scope was then advanced through the glottis opening into the trachea. The tip of the fibroscope was then positioned proximal to the carina. Then the nasotracheal tube was then smoothly advanced into its correct final position as Confirmed by the presence of positive end tidal carbon dioxide and auscultation of bilateral breath sounds. Okay friends, this how I intubated the patient. I hope you like this video. Subscribe this channel for more related videos. Thanks for watching.